A new Alabama law makes it easier for people to receive treatment for skeletal pain. Alabama is the final state to pass some version of this law. News 4's Will Polston is joining us live in studio. So, Will, how does this law change the scope of the medical field? Yeah, Kinsley, before this law was passed, patients needed a doctor's referral to see a physical therapist. Now, if you're in pain, you may be able to skip that step, saving you both time and money. The new direct access law went into effect June 1st. This law allows people to seek physical therapy without a doctor's recommendation, making it easier to seek help for pain management. Typically our evaluations are about an hour and it's one-on-one, -on -one, so we get asked a lot of questions, get to know you as a person, what are your goals as a patient as you come in, and then build a plan for you. Patients can now seek treatments for 30 days or up to 11 visits. Anthony Eubanks, the Rehab Services Director at Southeast Health, says this should be plenty of time to at least show positive progress. You know, typically within those 11 visits, we can get most people back to the point that they can take care of this stuff on their own. If a patient is still experiencing pain after these visits, they would need a referral to keep going. Smith says they can help get the person in with a doctor who could help the issue more. We can also streamline that process for folks um, reaching out to those physicians with relationships, get them in faster, um, or if someone doesn't have a primary established, get them plugged into the system that way. Eubank says this law has been in consideration for more than a decade. He says many were concerned that this would act as a replacement to primary care. Both he and Smith says that's not the case. We're not looking to make medical diagnoses. We don't want to replace physicians, chiropractors, nurse practitioners, PAs. Um, it, we all have our role in the system. Now, while Alabama was the last state to pass some form of this direct access law, there are 20 other states having no restrictions, according to the American Physical Therapy Association. Kinsley? Well, Polston, thank you for that report. So studies show patients who visit physical therapists for direct care have less visits and spend less money than those sent by a doctor.